Harry here, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Lord Potato Was in Black Clover, Part 8, the end of this What If. Now, uh, what's it called? Yes, this is the end of this What If, and I have an idea on how this is going to end, but yeah. Well, I already did mention how it's going to end, but not much. Not on too much details, but yeah, let me just begin into where I last left it off, okay? Let me shut up. So, we go into Lucius, who's right now Julius, well, kind of, like, taking over Lucius, who's the other fucking soul of, well, Julius. Well, Julius' body, mostly. But, of course, it worked. Well, Kira widened his eyes. He didn't expect to be saved by a mercenary, also known as Dark Raikou. Also known as Lord Potato, but don't worry about that. This is where, well... I just grab Lucius' hand, and of course, I am twisting his arm. This is where Lucius is kind of, like, grunting because of the pain. This is where I smile and say, So, what are you gonna do there, Lucius? Uh, what's it called? Lucius, uh... Lucius Zogaris. This is where, what? Lucius winds his eyes. He didn't expect this person to already know about his last name, about everything. This is where, well, I grabbed him, but this is where, well, something happened. Before I even decided to throw his ass, well, I did throw his ass, and this is where, well, when he just flies past, well, the wall, he smashes into the wall and breaks through it and kind of goes down, all the way down towards, well, when Asa is kind of being promoted to be, well, first, uh, what's it called? First, um, senior class of Magic Knight. Yeah, they didn't know what to put him as, but they just put him as this for right now. Because, well, they don't actually know how much powerful Asa has gotten. This is where Asa is talking to Noel and Mimosa. This is where Yuno has also became this class. This is where they're similar to the same rank. Asa says, so, hey, Yuno. This is where Yuno says, hey, Asta. I guess you were trained by Dark Raikou. Yeah, he was tensely terribly. I, at least I got stronger. <laughs> this is where, uh, well, Noel, uh, my mother was saying, Asa, this is where I was saying, yeah? So, are you going to look like that most of the time? This is where Asa says, like, what do you mean? So, Asa should mention has two horns on his head because he is, well, the Shinikam, you know that? He does have fully, like, whitish hair, like, very, like, whitish hair that's not silver. His eyes stay silver, silver, but with black instead of the white, mostly. And this is where, well, uh, his skin isn't purple, it's just kind of just there. But I should mention his horns are kind of black for right now. Since his skin isn't purple. This is where, well, uh, Asa says, huh? Do you need something? This is where they say, yeah, why do you look like that fully? Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, probably a uh, mutation after my training. <laughs> sorry about it. This is where, well, they say, no, don't apologize. You look great in it. They tried to, well, hold her blush. And this is what, well, <clears throat> uh, what's it called? Yami was like saying, so, what's it called? Prinkling princess. It seems that your, what's it called? Vice captain seems to be, get, was strong enough to fight against one of the, well, dark tribe members. This is what, well, uh, what's it called? Shar says, yeah, I, I don't know how she got that strong. She, they said that she was able to transform into a form and actually make a monosome so powerful. This is where, well, uh, this is where Soy actually appears behind Shar. And this is where, well, Soy decides to push Shar into Yami. This is where, uh, Shar uh, actually told what to call, uh, well, mostly Soy tells Shar to kind of already tell him about how you feel. Shar, this is where Shar says, uh huh. This is where Yami's like, huh? Are you okay, Franklin Princess? This is where Shar said, no, I, 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 what is wrong with you, Soy? Soy says, nothing. Her face is still kind of a little bit like reddish. And this is where Shar notices it. She actually noticed what's it called, Soy's face being red. But, but it's not from jealousy. It's not that. It's something else. Soy is thinking about something else. She's been looking around the whole kind of like little bit party, a little bit whatever, after the defeat. I mean, well, the de defeated of the dark tribe and all that. She was actually looking for someone, but that's where she couldn't find him. And right now, sad. This is where, well, 
someone actually smashes actually right past both you know and also when both you know and also are about to fight because you know actually challenge him to a fight but before that someone just goes flies through well flies not through them past him smashes to the ground and it's right now like wearing the what's it called robes of like the wizard king this is where it's ah uh, damn i wasn't expecting him to do something like that this is where oh but you know and also say huh what the hell this is where multiple people are kind of wondering well who is this person with black hair and why is he wearing clothes similar to the wizard king this is where what uh, someone, well, walks past the crate, uh, mostly the little hole that's kind of made in the crater and all that. And this is where, well, it's someone that, well, Soy was glad to see. And this is where everyone else was kind of shocked to see. It's none other than I, Dark Raikou, who showed up. This is where, well, I was just like on like what's called the, well, mostly the kind of rubble that the crater kind of made. And I'm just like landing down. Really smoothly down to the ground, like not like landing down to crushing the ground. I'm no, just like landing pretty soft. And this is where, well, the mana around me seems to be a little bit more denser than normal. This is where, well, both Yuno and uh, Asta kind of jump away from Luchas. And Luchas says, Damn, how did you know? Wait, why do I feel like I'm only half or full of myself, but half at the same time? This is where, well, uh, Julia says, wow, I didn't actually expect you to split our souls apart. This is where Akira is also next to, well, mostly on top of that, well, hole and all that, where the, well, what's called Luchis kind of made and all that, because I'm already on the ground, mostly ground level to him. This is where, you, uh, well, not you know, Julius is no longer a child. He looks like he expanded to his, what's it called? Back to the same age that he was before fighting against what's called Lich. And this is where, well, uh, uh, Kira is also shocked to even know that Julius managed to do this. <clears throat> or not Julius himself. Someone helped him up to age up faster. <clears throat> this is where, well, Julius didn't understand why, but somehow his, like, what's called age changed from being a child. Because when the separation happened from him from Lucius, the age difference were complete difference. So Lucius still had a much higher age while Julius was still a child. But for some reason, Julius' age actually expanded to be kind of bigger. This is where Julius didn't understand much. But this is where, well, we go into uh, Julius saying, Huh, so you must be the other soul that I kind of felt to be inside me. You must be Lucius, aren't you? Lucius is damn. <laughs> so, Julius. Aha, I see. So our souls got split apart. That's interesting. Does that mean I have no longer time magic? This is where, well, he kind of like uses time magic and he still has it. But it's kind of like split apart. This is where he realized he has a good chunk of his ma uh, like time magic kind of missing. And Julius also notices. They have, well, well, both Lucius and, well, uh, what's it called, Julian should be having 50%, but really, they don't even have 50%. It feels like they have only about, well, like, they do have 50% to each other, but it looks like something is kind of absorbing their magic. <clears throat> this is where, well, they don't understand, but they feel like they have 50%, but they don't that much. This is where <clears throat> Lucha says, ah, oh, whatever. Time magic. Time stating crone. He tried to put both Asta and Yuno in it so he can get rid of both of them. This is where I appear. Right now, I uh, appear with a lightning blade. <clears throat> well, mostly a black blade with lightning crackling around it, but yeah. So, of course, they ha uh, I have that in my what's called right hand. And, of course, this is where, well. He whined his eyes because he had no time to dodge it. This is where, well, the sword wasn't just crackling with, with bluish, tillish, turquoise uh, lightning. It was also emitting this darkness mist around him. This is where, when I swing it straight towards Luchus, Luchus couldn't dodge. Instead, he gets hit and, of course, smashes back to the like wall where he kind of landed in the first fucking place. <clears throat> kind of like, uh, <clears throat> kind of just crawling, uh, 
Kralin. Wait. Kralin through the what's it called wall. I don't know why I couldn't speak there. <clears throat> but of course, the what? Well, he smashes through well the wall and is now outside. He's wondering what happened. But this is where other devils actually appear. Supreme devils. This is where he's wondering why they're here. This is where he is now offered what's called Lucifer. Well, Luce, yeah, Lucifer's, Lucifer's heart. This is where he eats it because he has no time to dodge another lightning strike from me. This is where huh? I smile, I grin under my mask. Because you see here, I haven't really shown my face that much or even what's called my mouth that much because I have a freaking, well, a scarf on me. And of course, this is where, well, you can see my eyes, but I only have an eye patch on one of them, mostly the right side. And I have a hood always wearing on me. This is where, well, I land down, but kind of like on the ground, face to face with uh, Lucius and the, what's it called, one devil named Astrophers, and also with the other Supreme Devils. And this is where, well, behind me lands, well, mostly it's right now on a broom or just flying in midair, is you know. Asta, Noel, and the others who are right now in different forms. This is where, uh, uh, right next to me, two people appear. This other, well, one of them you already knew who actually appears, and this is Teku. Teku appears with multiple magic around him. Mostly supreme, well, kind of godly magic a little bit. It's like if he absorbed a double before getting here. Yeah, he kind of absorbed uh, Bezu's magic fully. He had half of it. He kind of saw him kind of like flying before Tor, so it's called Lucius' uh, direction. And of course, well, Teku decides to absorb the full, well, amount of magic that he had left and kind of will kill the devil itself with his own magic, but also just take his magic. So it's kind of, it seems a little bit godly because yes, he now has the supreme double power. This is where, well, <clears throat> What's it called? And also next to me, it's someone that has kind of, uh, kind of divine, at the same time godly magic, has a five-leaf clover. I should mention Teku also now has a five-leaf clover. And this is where, well, Teku's five-leaf clover is kind of all rainbowish with different colors and different patches of different types of, like, symbols of magics and all, because it's just combined together. He combined it fully together now. <clears throat> and it's kind of has a five-leaf clover. But the person that lands next to me is, well, this person named Apollo. Apollo is, well, the first commander of my legion of the mercenaries. So, yeah. But this is where, well, Apollo has a kind of five-leaf grimoire. But it looks galaxy color. Well, one side looks galaxy color. I should mention how it looks like. This is his new awakening book. His new awakening grimoire. He has one ga and one side galaxy. His well, clover is red. It's a glowing red. And his other side is this like time magic. He also does have like crescent moons on it, but yeah. But of course, with that new awakening book, he has it on his like left hand that's right now floating. And of course, he has a staff that has a crescent moon on it. This is where. Oh. <clears throat> His name is Apollo. Um, well, I'm not gonna try to say his full fucking name because it's Apollo Exemplary or whatever. Uh, no Kami, which just means Apollo the God or something. Okay, I don't remember how to say the other name demon, but yeah, it's mostly if you want to know who this character is, well, mostly OC character. It's mostly my good friend from the Discord, Demon, also known as my first subscriber. Which he says it's, but I can never see the kind of proof, but whatever. But not the point. So, of course, uh, Demon is this character, so yeah. Of course, this is where Apollo, who's right now having this book open. This is where Lucius is winding his eyes. He thought he only had, well, both Julius and him had, or even Asterisk, even had time magic. But this person seems to have time magic and space magic. This is where, oh. Uh, well, Julius is confused. This is where, well, Apollo says, Seems that these pathetic weaklings, these nobodies, thinks that they can defeat us. Isn't that right, Dark Right You? This is where, well, take good laughs and say, <laughs> These people are really stupid to even think that they will be able to defeat us. <laughs> this is where, well, 
Apollo says, well, if you will stop laughing like the goddamn Joker, or not Joker, if you will stop laughing like a maniac, Teku, maybe Dr. Riku can say something before you can interrupt him. Yes, you were, Teku said. <laughs> oh, my bad. i just been laughing a lot. <laughs> yes, you were. <clears throat> Dark Raikou, who is also me. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I'm gonna just say Dark Raikou in the third person because, yes, you just know it's just me. And of course, the white one, I said. It seems that these idiotic demons think that they can defeat us. They just kill them. Lucius, you might have your full form now. Your power of showing that you're divine god or whatever. Which Lucius does go into his final form after eating the, uh, Luf uh, Lucifer's heart. <clears throat> Which I keep grinning, but no one knows that I am grinning. Both Teku and what's called uh, Apollo knows that I am grinning. They are the only ones who ever seen what's called what's under my mask, and it's just well my face. Well, mostly the darkness usually cover up my face mostly, and the mask that I kind of wear and a scarf. Well, mostly darkness mask that usually covers my face, and they they know what I look like. So of course, well not demon. Demon hasn't really seen my face. I really haven't done a face rubber, but fuck that. Not happening. But of course, because this is only a fucking anime, uh, well not anime, a uh, what if, I'ma just say, I look decent, okay? Fuck it. But I'm not going into much detail about my face, but yeah. But of course, this is what, well, uh, since this is a what if, I'm gonna change how my face structure kind of looks like somewhat, so you won't guess anything on how my face actually looks like in real life. Actually, I don't even know how to say my face structure in real life. I am that stupid enough. I probably will fucked it up on accident. But all you gotta know is in this one, I just have turquoise blue eyes. In real life, I don't, but fuck off. It's just turquoise is kind of my favorite color and black. So leave me alone. But yeah. <clears throat> but of course, it worked. Well, uh, I said, <laughs> you're really getting in the plane. Even if you have that godly power, you false god, you still no match for us. <laughs> it's a word. Well, uh, Lucius says attack. He sends all the supreme devils at well at us, and this is where well the devil army uh of the underworld from the Spade Kingdom actually had another way out through another portal, and of course instead of exploding through was it called the Spade Kingdom. The Supreme Devils managed to kind of get out and of course managed to make a portal for the other like underling devils to get through to kind of attack Clover. This is where, well, so many devils appear and of course this is where two Supreme Devils are there. And this is where, well, they're kind of lowering a little bit down the tree and all that, down the level. But of course an army of devils is right now rushing towards the Clover Kingdom being beastly or whatever. And this is where, well, Multiple figures in black hoods, and of course, some of them have a mask, or some of them not have a mask. Some of them has like a bird mask that kind of looks like what's called the uh, doctor, or well, mostly the plague doctor. What well, they kind of wear. Some of them don't. Some of them kind of wear similar to a scarf. Because you see here, all of these people are mostly underlings that are in the mercenary group. The mercenary group is called the darkness. Well, the Darkness Kingdom, or the Dark Rain, uh, Darkness and Lightning Kingdom. Yeah, multiple of them didn't really care about the name, but yeah. It's mostly a bunch of mercenaries right now working under us. So, of course, well, I have, well, mostly I kind of control both, what's it called, two commanders, being what's called Apollo and Teku. They have underlings under them, meaning they have more underlings under them. But of course, since I have both Apollo and Taku under me, well, I mean, being one commander and the other second commander, they have what's it called underlings under them that kind of controls armies. But mostly it's just back to me, being the most, basically the captain out of all of them. And has the most power out of one of them, but yeah. This is what, well, everyone's, uh, all of those underlings are right now attacking. Some of the underlings from Teku or even uh, uh, Apollo are right now attacking. This is where the Apollo uh, underlings kind of always have a plague mask, similar like a plague mask, doctor mask and all that, or just like a bird mask or something complete different, or like a demon mask at the time. But yeah, they are all right now attacking 
against the Devils. The Devils are right now rushing. They're all low level, but of course, all of the Magic Knights or different Magic Knight mercenaries are at least either Arcane Stage. Some of them that are actually like the underlings of uh, Apollo and Teku are Arcane Stages, but some of them that are actually under those like commanders because there's five, what's it called, like lieutenants that are under what's it called Teku and what's it called Apollo. Some of those people that are under what's it called those lieutenants still are arcane level magic knights. Some of them are one level, two level, three level, and you get the rest. But none of them are at least under stage four. Almost all of them are at least stage four. But yeah. But of course, with that happening, we go into, well, the battle between I and Lucius. This is where, well, you know, and also wanted to help me, but this is where they had to fight against. Well, the Cursed Devil, well, well, not the Cursed Devil, mostly they had it to fight against the other Devils. This is where Apollo and even with the car, well, um, what is got them name? Oh, Teku. They were kind of fighting against, well, with the Incarnation's new soul uh, magic binding into these new humans. One of them has, well, the kind of like Cursed Devil and all that, and the other one has, be uh, well, tried to have Bezu, but really, Teku already has him. Mostly another one kind of has with Ka a small chunk of what Ka, Lucius, uh, not Lucius, uh, Lucifer's power in there. But yeah, he's right now fighting against Apollo while the Cursed Devil is trying to fight against Teku. Teku is laughing and is dodging the Cursed Devil magic. This is what, well, Teku says, that's too bad. See ya, sucker. Spatial magic. Domain. Crushing kill. Murderous blast. This is what, well, uh, one, mostly not. Uh, Murder Splash, let's say he's a crush. This is where the cube actually became so small that it killed the devil in an instant. Mostly the human devil. But since what's it called, Teko doesn't have any like remover magic for getting the devil out of him, he just decided to kill the human fully. He doesn't really care. This is where, well, Apollo is right now fighting this human, and this human is trying to, well, mostly the new soul binding human and all that. I should really go into, well, I should really go into spoilers, but I don't care. I want to end this, what if, but yeah. But of course, the work. Well, um, uh, what's it called? I want to actually go into the very latest chapters of the manga because those were mostly in Japanese when I read them. But yeah, don't worry while I'm reading them. Just know that it's going to be sick uh, when the latest chapters come in English version. But yeah, but of course, the work. Oh, um, Apollo is right. We go back into the wonderful guy. I should stop going around and on sidetrack myself. But yeah, Apollo is going against this like dude with barely any like spatial magic or anything. And of course, this person tries to put Apollo in gravity magic like at least ten times uh ten times heavier than a human. And of course, Apollo seems to be ineffective. That's where Apollo actually decides to mess with this kind of idiotic, foolish magic. He says gravity. Anti-gravity 50 times. This is where the person lunges up so high and of course can't decide to fly up because he's right now in the state of gravity magic dome. And of course this is where uh, he can't really move his body much because this is where a binding invisible gravity actually appears. Gravity style or not gravity style. Spatial. Well not spatial. Uh, space magic binding. This is where well, the person can't move. So of course can't fly out of the well anti-gravity. That's where, well, Demon sees that he's far enough in the sky. That's where he sees. <sighs> Gravity. 5,000 times. That's where the person smashes down towards, well, mostly, like, towards the ground. In high speeds, like, Mach 4 high speeds, like, or Mach 5 at least. Mm, maybe 6. But this man just flew down straight to the ground. And right in front of Apollo... Like, Apollo just snapped his fingers. Like, he knew that this person was about to smash this to the ground. This is where he snapped his fingers. Already knew when this person's gonna do it. Even if the, uh, what's calm. The, if he were, if he just gets rid of the gravity from the five times, still the momentum will still be there. So, of course, that person smashes to the ground fully. Does it work? Well, Apollo gets to him and says, Reversing time. Does it work? Well, a reverse time spell was on this person. Right now, transforming him into absolute nothing. No atoms. Well, atoms being there. And the atoms just dissipates and all that. This is what, well, 
Apollo has a very powerful magic, both space and time. Now, you're all thinking, well shit, if he has space and time, then what the hell do you do? Or what the hell do you have? Well, I haven't really mentioned about my magic entirely. You might think that I only have darkness and lightning, which you should probably think maybe I do, or maybe I don't. Who knows? I never did question, or never actually did answer, about what my magic is really is. But yeah. Of course, this is where, well, we go into the battle between, well, Yuno and Asta. Yuno is right now at 75%, but this is where, well, he wants to kind of grow more because he sees Asta's easily obliterating some of the Supreme Devils that are trying to hold, uh, well, hurt Momosa or Noel. This is where, well, Sawyer is easily destroying some of the Devils that are trying to hurt, well, her captain and even Yami. Wait. Okay. Let me, before I go into this water, have you ever had one you have to burp and you feel like something's going to come up your mouth and you have to like stop yourself so that won't happen? Yeah, that's why I did it and that's why I said wait. But yeah, I should have not ate those fucking chocolate mint cookies. Those taste kind of bad. But whatever. But let me go back to the water and let me shut the fuck up and stop rambling. God damn it. I'm very good at rambling half the damn time, but yeah. But of course, we go into the water. And of course, this is where, well, when Soy kind of uh, protects both, uh, what's it called, Shar and Yami, this is where uh, Soy kind of gets annoyed with Shar, kind of like, keep trying to deny her feelings with what's it called, Yami. And this is where, well, Soy decides to say Earth fine and Earth together. This is where, well, Earth actually appears a boat around both Yami and Shar. And this is where, well, Shar is saying, What are you doing, Soy? This is where Soy says, Just. Don't deny your feelings to the, what's it called, Yami. Just say that you love him already. This is where, well, is Shara saying, uh, this is where Yami, he's actually kind of confused still because you know he's kind of dense. And this is where, well, so, so he say, well, not so, he must Shara say, um, y yeah, Yami. She's right now doing something like Hinata, you know, when she puts, uh, when Hinata kind of puts her two fingers to like the, each other. And of course, kind of like doing that point point and all that. This is where Shar's doing the same. And this is where is Shar saying, "How many said? Um, uh, how should I say this? Uh, I, 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 I." This is where well, Soy is actually about to get attacked by a devil. Until well, before she was able to kind of like kill the devil, the devil gets ripped into well two, into well. Lightning, well, mostly lightning and darkness ripped into it, killing in an instant, cutting it into millions of pieces. Right now, the person in front of her is none other than the person that she admires a lot, and mostly kind of to get trained with also. This is where, so I say, uh, Dark Raku. This is where, well, I turn around saying, So you shouldn't be getting distracted. I know that you want to help your cat then with her love issues, just like you want to help yourself with me. This is where, well, so I say, no, 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 don't, don't say that. I, I'm just really thankful that you're trying me. That's all. Her face is red. That's where I smile. And that's where, well, she can see that the darkness is gotten rid from my face. But still, just kind of got rid from my nose to my mouth and all. But still, it has a, like, mask and all. So, of course, I pull it down and, of course, smile towards her. This is where she has a blow nose and kind of passes out. This is where she's about to fall down to the ground, but this is where most of them are. Well, not almost, and no one should grab her and kind of put her to the building. This is where Noelle says, are you okay? So I say, yeah, I'm fine. This is where, well, she tries to cover up her bleeding nose, but yeah. This is where, oh, Momosa saw this and says, oh, are you hurt? Uh, what's it called? Uh, Vice Captain, uh, from the Blue Rose, uh, and Soy. So I say, yeah, I'm fine. You don't need to heal me. This is where, well, Momosa still heals her because she doesn't know if Soy managed to get injured or anything. And this is where, well, I disappear in laughter. This is where, well. I appear next to, well, well, not near, near what's it called, Lucius, and Lucius says, damn, you're still here. I'm trying to kill that anti-magic boy in that fucking, four, well, four leaf, five, uh, what's it called, second leaf grimoire user. Yes, what's it called, you know, still got the second leaf, well, not second leaf, second clover from a spade came when he did visit there. But of course, well, he's using his spatial magic, and of course, he did go into 100% uh, for what's called spirit mode. And of course, he's still not fast enough like Asta is. Asta's right now easily blitzing some of these devils and easily cutting them down. And the same way, oh, you're just saying, damn it, I'm still not fast enough. 
This is where, well, he knows this was the thing. Lucius is the last one left from the Supreme Devils. This is where, well, I appear saying, so, you're gonna have to fight me. I still have what's called my sword. That looks like the Bankai, well, what's it called? Second version Bankai of what's it called, Ichigo's. You know that one kind of version and all that? It's a, oh, it's a long katana, and of course, it's black. And of course, it is having crackling lightning when Misty Black, well, Miss Black stuff kind of like gets out of it. But this is where, well, I grab the sword with two hands, and this is where I rip it apart. This is where both the blade kind of gets ripped apart into having actually two elements kind of appear. One of the swords is now crackling with lightning. Like this one, and the other one is crackling with just darkness. Or not crackling, mostly mist, darkness, purplish. This one where, well, I say, bring it on, Lucius. <laughs> this one where, well, my eyes start kind of glowing like dark mist a lot. And that's where lightning's crackling more ferocious in my eye. This one where, well, I started kind of fighting against Lucius, kind of, uh, well, kind of blocking his attacks most of the time, but also clashing with my lightning attack. This is where, well, I'm blocking him with most of the darkness and the lightning. I'm just going really fast. Of course, Lucius is trying to keep up my speed. And this is where, well, my legs does have lightning on them because I did kind of add lightning. But of course, my grimoire hasn't been shown much. <coughs> this is where, well, Lucius is kind of interesting. He does have his grimoire next to him. But this is where, well, he tries to block an attack saying <sighs> special magic, uh, what's it called? Not special magic. He says time magic, uh, time, uh, block. This is where, well, he tries to block an attack from me, but this is where I blitz through it by kind of, instead of smashing into it, I jump to the right and then jump from, what's it called, thin air. Think of it like luck when he kind of uses, what's it called, when he kind of jumps from an attack right in front of him towards the right and, of course, kind of like uses, you know, those like wording magic or whatever from bouncing from thin air. Yeah, but I... Instead of me doing that, I just jump from thin air straight towards Lucius. This is where Lucius has to dodge a lightning sword. This is where he keeps trying to attack me. But of course, this is more difficult than just fighting with one sword that I had. You see here, the two swords, they are both different elements. They are not combined together, unlike that sword. You see here, that sword makes it much powerful to play together combining both elements. But... It only makes it having one. I cannot make another one. But with these two blades, I now have the different uh, aperture of elements towards it. But of course, one thing happens is that they don't have the same powerful, like power, raw power when I combine them together. So of course, I'm just like clashing with what they call Lucius. But of course, they don't have like power behind it, the power inside them and all that. Because the sword, it was, well, the first sword, uh, well, not first sword. These swords are actually the first form swords, not the actual other one. That one's the second form of, well, both of them being combined. The first two swords, one is called Lightning Striker, while the other one is called Darkness uh, Slicer. Of course, this is where, well, the second form is called the, well, Black, uh, what's it called? Black Blade of Destruction, but yeah. Well, mostly the black flash light, uh, well, bleh, let me say that again. The black flash of destruction, but yeah. That's mostly what it's called, well, is that called? No, it's a black flash blade, so yeah. Of course, it's where, well, that's what it's called, and of course, it's where, well. This is where, well, Lucius is trying to block my attacks of my different swords. Now, I'm using what's called my right hand to have the lightning blade, while the uh, left hand has this darkness one, but yeah. This is where, well, something is happening. I'm right now clashing with what's called Lucius, and Lucius is kind of, kind of, what's it called, holding back. This is where Lucius is not wanting to hold back. So, of course, this is where, well, he goes into full power, but before going to full power, he actually does a fast uh, forward time, straight towards, what's it called, like a magic towards, uh, well, <coughs> Julius. But instead of, like, Flowing the age of how old Julius is, it's mostly flowing how fast Julius is going to appear right in front of, well, Lucius. Lucius kind of made Julius appear, and this is what, well, he kind of grabbed the leftover magic upon what's called, well, uh, Julius, and rips it out of, well, rips it out of what's called Julius, and Julius kind of, like, cough up, realize he doesn't have any more mana, so of course he falls down, but this is where, well, a Mar uh, Marcus, or not Marcus, 
Marcos or whatever his goddamn name is, kind of appears and managing to grab him with also the magic killing dude. And this is what, well, Lucius kind of has the now 85% of magic, of, well, the sp uh, time magic. He realized one thing, he only has 85 and not the 100%. This is what, well, he realized that, well, the leftover kind of percent that he needs uh, for the car to finish it, the 15%, is in, well, you guessed it, Apollo. Apollo has been absorbing it and, of course, transforming it into his book. Or mostly, he unlocks it and, of course, it just goes to a right to an owner. But yeah, because you see here, the true uh, time magic is mostly going to Apollo because Apollo, true magic was mostly not just t uh, space magic, but also time magic. So, of course, it's kind of being absorbed to its rightful owner. But yeah, Luchas is not really the rightful owner to have time magic. This is what, well, he realized that he can't really go against Apollo, but this is what, well, he needs to get rid of one person. And that one person is none other than me, exactly. I looked at him and says, what is wrong? Lucius rushes at me with blinding speed and tries to take me out. But of course, I dodge and combine my, both my swords together. Right now, going to the Black Flash Blade. And right now, clashing with uh, Lucius. Lucius is saying, I won't die. Space, uh, what's it called? He says, time magic. <sighs> time, uh, what's it called? He says, time magic. Time dimension flow to uh, what's it called blades of destruction. There's where multiple blades appear around me. And I see that this is a problem, but I don't care. Instead, I just spin around. Right now, cover my body with darkness and right now, lightning. Like, making lightning dome. And, of course, you were... Oh, what's it called? Lucius smiles and says, You think th that thing will help you? Hell no. Nah. He sends the blades, and, of course, the blades pierces through the darkness and lightning. And the stab upon me. This is where, well, I'm coughing up. <laughs> this is where, well, the darkness uh, raises my face. And, of course, my hood is right now... Onto my back. This is where, well, I'm over here with my eye, my, uh, what's called, right eye closed, and my left eye open, crack, well, mostly a little bit of crackling of lightning and darkness kind of flowing through. This is where, well, I have multiple swords around me, staff. This is where, well, a necklace is kind of like hanging off of my, what's called, chest because, well, yeah. It's gold and it has a dragon's head on it. It's a white well. Uh, what's it called? Also, I have multiple swords. He has stuck into me. This is where Lucius says, "Now I finally kill you." This is where I both Uno and also say, "No." This is where so I say, "Uh, Dark Raku." This is where Apollo and what's it called? Teku kind of just smiles. Ching. This is where well, my face is really revealing all of that. It's where there's blood kind of flowing down from my head and all that. Because a blade just stab upon my head also. It's where, well, also some of the blades have managed to hit my heart. It's where the person says, <laughs> I am a true god of this world. Now I should take my time magic back from you. I don't care if you're a true owner of it or not. He looks at Apollo. This is where Apollo smirks to him because he is smiling. And this is where Teko is kind of just laughing. Well, not laughing, kind of giggling, trying to hold him in, but he's giggling like a madman. He's like, <laughs> he starts bursting into laughter. This is where, well, uh, Apollo also starts laughing, kind of like, not like crazy like Tekuis, but this is where, well, all of them kind of wind their eyes, wondering why they're laughing when their commander just died, mostly their captain. This is where, well, one thing that freaks out Will Lucius was why they laughing. This is where, well, Asta kind of also noticed this and decides to start laughing also, kind of just giggling also. He's just like, he can't uh, stop laughing because he also knows that I can't die exactly. You see here, if you haven't just noticed one thing about me is one thing, my eye patch of what the car, my right eye is supposed to always be on me. I just said my right eye is closed. My left eye is burning kind of like open a little bit. It's like burning open. Which one thing? That's what the call eye patch was supposed to be in my right eye. But it's not. And you see here. You might all think that, oh, well, it must have flown off the way. I just didn't mention it. Well, that's not the case. I should also mention that necklace was never on my ch well, chest, my forward chest. That necklace that had a golden, well, golden necklace and all that, and had a dragon head. Which, that's not also supposed to be there. But it's there also. 
which Lucius didn't notice and no one else noticed it. So for Asta, even what's it called Tecco and Apollo already noticed. <clears throat> you see here, I am not normal. You might be a god, I said quietly, which Lucius kind of jumped away. This is where, well, I start moving with the still blades around my, what's it called, one behind my head. The others right now still be in my heart. Some of them still be in my body. And I just like smirk my teeth. It was right now to the sharp teeth and all that. And I was just like smiling. And this is where, well, Lucian says, how? You're supposed to be dead. I hit you in the heart, head, and other fucking points. This is not, this is bullshit. I saw you with my time magic. I saw the future. I saw how you would have died. No, 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 no. This is where he looks at back into the time because yes, he did look into time to see the different situation and saw that, well, Dark Raikou was not supposed to survive. And one of them, he saw that Dark Raikou, if he gets hit by multiple, uh, like, sword attacks, he would have died. But he stopped watching that exactly. Exactly when he saw me die. He didn't fully watch what happens after that time. Because what happens after the time would have been him ruling over a mansion to kill Austin and the others. But when he looks back into that one kind of possible situation, he realized time has changed for me. Only me. I changed time. I changed the curve of time. <clears throat> Apollo already knew this because he can also see into time, even though he has 15% of time magic in him. And, well, 100% of what to call the space magic still. But, yeah. This is where Teku already notices because he doesn't... He knows one thing. Teku has always, well, noticed one thing. I always have an eye patch. And, first of all, when that golden dragon head appears, he knows things go serious with me. This is where... Well, I have been always playing around. I haven't really been taking this serious most of the time. And this is where... Well, I also, also noticed one thing. That dragon head should not be there. That mat, or that eye patch should be always in my right eye. Even if I'm hurt, it's always going to be there. But of course, it's not there. So of course, I'm laughing right now like a maniac. Saying, <laughs> Think of it like when Gojo was like all bloody up, like in the manga. If you haven't read the manga, I'm sorry, but I'm not spoiling it for you fuckers. But I don't give a shit. Of course, if you haven't read the manga where it was called, we go into like Gojo's kind of like what's called life POV and all that. And how Gojo managed to activate reverse curse energy. Well, Gojo kind of got it when he was stabbed and fucked up by, well, to uh, Toji or whatever has got the name. Mostly, uh, Fujigoro's, like, what's it called? Not Fujigoro. Was that Fuji? Yeah, Fuji. No, Megami. I'm gonna call him Megami. Uh, Megami's father mostly fucked up Gojo. But of course, Gojo was kind of like laughing in the air right now, having his, like, face up to the, like, sky. And having his eyes like glitter up in the sky. Right now laughing with his two hands in the other side of him. Right now just laughing against what's called Megami's father. Saying I'm gonna kill you. So of course it's similar with me. Blood is running down the, my hair. And of course well, I'm laughing with both of my eyes open. Both of them. Both of them are right now active. One is crackling with just purely white. Just white, completely pure white eye in my right side. No pupil, no nothing, just white. And crackling with white lightning appearing on there. That's a white, well, on my other side, my left side, have the one that I have been always using, my right side has always been on an eye patch and all that. But my, what's it called? Left side is kind of, instead of just being turquoise blue with black around it, is no longer that. Instead, it's a mixture of three different colors on the pupil, well not pupil, on the eye. The pupil is slick, it's black, it's slick black. But of course, the color around it is both blue, yellow, and red. Three special, well, the three special strongest elements to ever be here. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, not yellow, mostly like blue, like a tillish blue, um, what's it called? No, not like a tillish blue. An icy blue, a fiery red, and a very yellowish lightning. Yes, these three elements are right now in my eyes. Kind of crinkling and kind of flowing out from my eye. And of course, it worked. well, around my eye, instead of being just black, 
it's black and white. It's a, just two. Just kind of mixed up together. It's kind of gray. It's a little bit darker screen, but, but yeah. Darkness and light is gray. This is where, oh, I am laughing like a madman. This is where the blades are just destroy just gets out of my body but they, they just disappear this is where the wounds gets healed in an instant the head of the dragon is right now being active the you see here the dragon head the golden dragon head one eye has a very like reddish color appearing the other eye has a bluish color appearing in the middle it has a third eye that has a yellow eye appearing or mostly like a yellowish glow this is where well it has its horns kind of like on there because it has a dragon. And this is where, well, for me, a form appears. Well, mostly I go into a ball. And right now, a glowish, a light of power appears for me. Exploding from the ball that I just kind of went into. Right now, I go into my true final form. A form that I usually don't use that much often. A form that, well... Not many people has ever seen. Well, no one has actually seen. And this is what, well, this form has, well, two horns in what's called the left side of my head. Two horns as you're appearing. Mostly one kind of being kind of goldenish a little bit. The other horn kind of being black. But this is where a crown appears on that, what they call the left side. A crown that has gold on it. Being gold and spiky and all that. And of course, somewhat of a halo appears also. But of course, as you mentioned, the crown is floating. But a halo is also floating above what they call the crown. And this is where, well, um, to the, what's called, well, to the other side of me, which I should mention one thing. The left side, I didn't really mention about my body. I have a dragon wing on my, what's it called, left side. This dragon wing is colored to be gold and white and like also kind of being a little bit of black in it, but yeah. But mostly having dark gray and all that. I have a tail behind me that seems to be like a dragon tail and all that. <laughs> and of course, it worked. well, for my what's called uh, hands and even legs, it looks to have armor, but it looks to be like a dragon armor, like dragon claw boots or whatever, dragon like uh, gauntlet and all that. My what's called, well, right, oh, uh, not right side, left side. Now, of course, I do have like a dragon chest plate or whatever, but it's mostly my scale body and all that. But it scales underneath the kind of armor that appears. This is where, well, a sword appears in my what's called left hand. A sword that has, well, three blades upon it, like three combined blades, a com well, combined one blade. One, one of the sides of the blade has a bluish color. The middle has a yellowish color. And the, well, what's called left side, or mostly the other side, has a reddish color. These kind of reserve pens are kind of just shows to be fire, lightning, well, fire, thunder, and ice. Yes, three main uh, elements I can use. But not just that. Even though that should be the three elements I should be using, it feels like mana around that side. Every single type of mana, fire, lightning, anything seems to be easily flowing around what's called my left side like bowing down and gracious and like loving my what's called left side this is where well which it is i just don't control three pacific elements i control every single element with my left side now we go into my right side my right side who have i've been really kind of if about my left side so well, I should mention about my left eye. My left eye is called the King, well, mostly the King Dragon Eye. So that's what it's called, the King Dragon Eye. It would have been called the Prince Eye if I was younger and all that. But for right now, it's called the King Eye because I accepted my true heritage. But yeah. And we go into, well, my right eye. This eye is called the Falling King Eye. Mostly the, well, not Fallen King Eye. The God Slayer Eye. The Fallen King God Slayer Eye. The pure white eye. Just go through multiple names for right now. But, for what's it called? I should mention I do have a, well, not helmet on my kind of offside. But for my what's it called? Uh, right side. So, of course, there's a dark crown kind of. 
being in between, okay, in between, what's it called? Both of my sides on top. Instead of being like a whole crown, it's kind of a half crown. One side being the golden crown, another. The other side is kind of a dark crown. A dark crown. Of course, I don't have a horn or anything appearing from what's it called? My, what's it called? Well, right side. Instead, I have, well, just that dark crown. But of course, for my, what's it called? Him? Right side, my uh, leg does have armor. It does have armor, I should mention. Yes, but this armor is called Scythian Dark Crimson Armor. Mostly, I have it all over my body, my mostly right side body. But for my right side hand, instead of having a blade, like a normal blade that you will all be thinking about, instead of that, it's a scythe. I won't have a sword on my right side. I have a scythe. Now the scythe is purely white. Mostly the handle was black, but the blade is so it's purely white. Well, you know what? The whole scythe is purely white. That's white. Well, I kind of just look at what's called the well Lucius, who is right now in his true god form or whatever, or whatever he believes in it. And of course, he looks at me wide his eyes. You see here. My left side, Mana is bowing down to me. It's loving me. My right side, Mana is still bowing down to me, but fearing me. You see here, I have two sides. Which, yeah. But of course the armor uh, in what's called the middle of what's called my body is attached. Except for my crown. It's not really attached, mostly. But of course, the well, well, it is somewhat attached, but yeah. I look at Lucius and just smirk with this evil grin in my face. This is where I say, well, I seem to be too bad for you, Lucius. This is where Lucius says, what, what are you? No, I won't lose. I won't lose. He starts sending attacks at me, mostly space time, well, mostly time attacks. And of course, like space also ripping through it. But of course, I'm dodging through it because, yeah, because he also does have Lucifer face kind of like, uh, space magic, whatever, and try to hit me. But of course, I'm flying through it easily. Right now, blitzing with the car Lucius. Lucius could not even react between me and what's called a slash attack. This is where, well, I slash him with the sword. Now I should mention what these two weapons are called. The white scythe, the pure white scythe, is called the God Slayer Scythe. While what's called the other sword is called the Triple Bladed King Sword. Now, of course, this is where, well, I hit him with the uh, king sword, and right now, uh, what's it called? He is flying right now through the air, and of course, I am blasting off with what's it called the energy around me. It's like a what's it called? One of the energies around me on my right side is purely white, while the other energy around my left side is purely different colors. Right now, just blasting through the air, kind of flying through the air in high speeds. Straight towards with the car, Lucius. Now, even though I, well, in my right side, I should forgot to mention. In my right side, even though I don't have a dragon wing, that's not supposed to say that I still can't fly. It, I do have a wing, but it's not a dragon wing. It's mostly this white wing that actually spreads from my back. Well, mostly a black wing. And of course, it's where, well, I'm able to fly with still my wings kind of flapping behind me. I am flying in high speeds, at least like Mach 50 or Mach more than that. I am flying in such a high speed that I am blitzing. Even if this man tried to do a like a Zawardo, uh, what's it called, time space kind of dome around him to try to stop my flowment and movement, I am still going super fast. That it looks like normal speed for me going through that what's it called dome, but I'm still going extremely fast. The time doesn't stop me. Nothing is stopping me from blitzing this man. So, of course, even with that, he does it, and of course, I blitz him. So, he does it again, but this time I just cut it with my scythe. My scythe erases and destroys anything. Doesn't matter if you're an immortal god or not, which it just cuts through the time dome easily. And this actually cuts with the call Lucius' arm off. Lucius wide in his eyes, realizing one thing his arm is gone. He can no longer regen it. This is where he looks up and sees me right now grinning with this evil smile. This is where I kind of like put the, uh, well, left weapon upside down because I was holding like forward uh, with my what's called 
hand or nothing, but I pulled it backwards uh, to kind of be on like the pinky, yeah, you know. Okay, I really don't have to mention this, but it's on the other side, instead of being for or against me, it's on the other side, this is where I black, uh, not black, back slash what's it called, Lucius down to the ground. Lucius is right now being hurt really bad. He can barely regen fast enough. It's the word. Well, he tries to get a normal human to transform it into what's it called? One of his new double, what's it called? What new people and all that? And this is where he says, I was doing this for only to safety of this world. I won't let some idiotic person like you be standing in my way. He kind of calls me an idiotic person. But this is where I destroy that one human. And this is where I appear right in front of Lucius, cutting all his, well, well what's it called? Limbs off in an instant. Mostly with my white scythe blade, I easily cut him all down. This is what, well, I look at Lucius right now, smiling at him with this evil grin, and says, oh, look at that. You can't move, can you? Lucius is trying to kind of activate his magic. But this is where one thing actually appears. One thing that shocks him to his core. My grimoire is right now in front of me. So I didn't actually have time to, well, not time. I didn't actually make my grimoire what it was supposed to look like, but let me actually explain how my grimoire looks like. So, one side, mostly this is the right side, right? Or it might be your left side, whatever you're going to look like, but this is the right side mostly. Over here where I have the icon kind of recorded and all that. This right side will only have this kind of color. The left side, this other side, has what's it called? Well, the other side has a color of having like yellow red and kind of blue kind of mixed together with it the clover itself has well mostly those colors well three of those clovers while the other three is purely white but also having black and all that and the other side is multiple colors of different elements and all that which they have different icons of different elements and other things like fire lightning water earth stone lightning RSA lightning thunder this that or what whatever but yeah, of course, that's my grimoire that's right now floating against Lucius, or floating in front of me mostly. And this is why I'm smiling with the evil grin against Lucius. But of course, that is not the case. Well, I mean, that is the case, my grimoire. That's why Lucius won his eyes about the book. It's having this like divine presence in its left side. But on the other side, it has this sinister, but yet still divine presence on it. This is where, well, two kind of, uh, like, blurry images appear behind me that Lucius is barely able to keep up his eyes. What he sees scares him and shocks him to his core. He sees, well, a beautiful, a beautiful woman, a female, behind me, mostly my left side. She has crimson, well, mostly scarlet red hair, but of course her eyes have this, what's it called, like three, well, three eyes has. One is kind of like uh, yellow in her kind of forehead. One is like blue and the other one is kind of red. It looks like she has the same elements as what I am having for mostly my left side, my left eye and all that. But mostly she has uh, scarlet red hair, well, so like black on it. And this is where, well, she has this armor that's like armor that's kind of black, red and purple. That seems to be like the opposite colors of, well, mostly my armor and all that. Or similar armor color, but yeah. But of course, it worked. well, uh, this person has a sword. And this sword is just completely different from my sword and all that. It's just a longer blade, kind of like a great big sword. But of course, it's kind of just red and black and purple. But yeah. Of course, she is like smiling with this evil grin, even though you can barely see it because it's a blurry figure. And the other side, my uh, right side, shows to have this image or this person. It's a man. But this man barely has any armor much. But it looks like they still have armor. This black, obsidian, dark crimson armor. Or not dark crimson armor, but just dark armor. He does have a helmet on him that looks like to have horns. And of course has a crown floating on top of him. The uh, female had a crown being crimson red and all that. But this one had uh, just black uh, crown and all that. <laughs> they had this like bluish diamond on its what's it called crown, like the uh, the front of it. But yeah, this is where oh. this person had a white siphon. Is right now grinning at this person, 
smiling at him like if he was actually the one smiling at with the car, Lucius. Lucius was scared. One had a very divine but sinister presence, and the other one had a very gentle, divine, and very scary presence that you don't want to piss off at the damn time. And this is where, well, I walk closer to Lucius, and this is where I just say, Exile. Annihilation. The King plus God Slayer Slash. Combined skill, annihilation. This is where I slash out what's it called, Lucius, with both of my blades kind of heading him X style. And this is where Lucius is like, wait, no, you can't. He tries to, like, well, do something to stop me from walking away. And this is where, well, Lucius, right now, his face, or mostly his body, is right now turning into white particles and disappearing forever. Lucius is like, no, you can't. And he disappeared. The time magic that he had has now returned to its rightful owner, and that is to Apollo. And so, right, well, we go into a time skip. A time skip of a couple of years later. Asta has not really became the Wizard King. Instead, he still had to be what's it called the Shinigami, but he was still too young to become the new death and all that. So, of course, he did have a kid with Noel Mimosa. Meaning that he has a child with two children that kind of has the Shinigami power inside them. So yeah, also anti-magic with them. Of course, one of them has water magic and the other one has kind of flower magic. So one of them is called... Well... So one is actually called Life in Japanese. And that's just because uh, she is able to kind of be able to bring people back from death and all that. It's a more powerful skill than her mother was called Mamosa. And the other one is kind of just a name for water death. Because he's able to drown people. But yeah. So one is a girl, mostly from Mimosa. And the other one's a boy, from, mostly from the well. Now, of course, both of them are very strong. Similar like their father, mostly Asta. But yeah. That's so why, well, we go into Yuno. Yuno did have a kid and is now the Spade King and all that. So, the Wizard King is not Asta, but instead, <clears throat> it is, well, not me, because fuck that. It's, no, it's none other than what's it called, well, Yami. Yami became the Wizard King, but also did have a child with Will Sharp. He actually, what's it called, Yami did meet his, like, well, spoiler manga, I shouldn't really warn this, but spoilers, uh, he met his sister. His younger sister, which forced him to understand what female, uh, female, what's called, female's, uh, emotions are. And, of course, Yami and Shard did kind of finally stick together, but yeah. This should work well. Everyone is having happy lives. Also, I am having a happy life. You see here, I just, you might think I'm single, but I'm not. Because you see here, I have two kids and a wife. My two kids are, well, still kind of similar skin tone like me and dark skin tone like their, uh, mostly mother. But mostly one, well, there are two boys. Of course, it's where they have my eye color and also Soy's uh, eye color because yes, Soy is. But of course, it's where Soy, she's able to kind of use earth magic and I was able to use lightning and darkness and my other most more. Multi elements and mostly the God Slayer one. This is what, well, they one of them managed to have the multiple elements with car like multi elements, uh, magic and all that. While the other one had mostly been able to just get the God Slayer, similar using it with earth magic, but yeah. But of course, it worked well. Soy was happy just to have two kids like that, but yeah. This is what, well. I was happy, okay. And this is what, well, I still have a whole army of, well, mercenaries. And newer mercenaries still kind of join, kind of getting, well, trained with the others. Not many mercenaries lost against the devils. Apollo is right now the new user of time and spatial magic, well, space magic. And is the strongest because he can actually live forever. Because he can just age himself down or up or down whatever this is where Teku is still an insane prick but he just kills any evil people that he finds to be interesting but yeah 
this is the end of this what if. Yes, the end of what if Lord Potato was in Black Clover. So yeah, I might have all just twisted your mind of like, what the fuck? I thought you were only able to summon a lightning dragon in darkness. Well, the reason here. You might think of my fairy elements are just lightning and darkness, which it is. But, you see here. I always wanted to make, what's it called, uh, my own story slash anime manga story and all that. And, well, the main character I wanted to go on a story about, first about his like parents' life and whatever. But, I might make it in the near future if I ever feel like it or life is going bored or anything. Or maybe, I don't know. Or maybe when I good, it'd be good at drawing and all that. I'm, mm, if I do get good at drawing, I might like, draw like a couple of panels and try to become a manga artist or animation artist. I don't know. Because I do like that kind of job, but I know it's like very stressful and all that. So I might do it, but no, nah, I don't know. I might just do a leap of faith, but I don't know. But, other than that, uh, not the point, but I'm able to control both the dragon, what's called, dragon force, and actually demon force, because you see here, my eye did have just grayish and white, so I was connected with the demons, but yeah. And also a light force on the other side, but not the point. <clears throat> this is the end of this wood, so I already did mention it and other things. I'm rambling on, and I should end this what if so. Good night, potato, potato. Bye bye, potato and potato. And outro song. Bye bye.